hi guys this is chevjin academy welcome back to another amazing tutorial in this lesson we are going to be looking at google health pro how to use google health as an highway engineer and this video i'm going to be focusing on how you can identify your hydraulic structures such as bridges culverts on your road and place them in the right location so let's get started We all know that Google Earth Pro is a, is a free software that is used to access geographical information. So, and engineers can actually make use of this software in order to improve their productivity. So to do this, we are going to be making use of a particular road network, which is actually on tag for this exercise. So for the purpose of this tutorial, we are going to be using this road. This road actually link a, this town, this community to another community. You can see the alignment of the road to another community, which is not hard. So, but we are just going to be taking this part of the road that start from this major highway and connect to another major highway here. So what we have to do is we want to indicate the length of the road the start and end, the origin and the destination. Then we also want to indicate the location of the hydraulic structures using Google Head and export this as an image. This is very important because at a glance, it allows the engineer to communicate with other professions in the project. So the first thing we want to do indicate is the start of the road. To indicate the start of the road, you can make use of add place mark to do that so this is the origin of the road as you can see this road is not hard and for the purpose of this lesson we are going to hand at where this road cross another highway now the first thing we have to do is to create a folder for our project in order to align our project inside a single folder so that you can export it and share it with others so all you have to do is come to under my places come to hard and select folder so we are going to name this folder as tutorial root in your own case you can name it the name of the root a1 so let's just give this root this name so we say okay so this is now the folder so inside this folder is where we are going to create every other things we want to do so the first thing we have to do is to indicate the origin of the road, which is where this road intersects with this major highway. So you click on add place mark and then you can put the name of your place mark. But in this case, since it's the origin of the road, so we just say zero plus zero zero. This is the start of the road. Then you can move this place mark to where the road actually started from. Then you click OK. So now we've indicated the start of the road. The next thing we want to indicate is the end of the road. As I've said, for this lesson, we are just going to end this road where it intersects with another road. So click on add place mark again. But in this case, we don't know the length of the highway. So let's just say, let's just put something. We change it later. So under the name, I just say X plus XXX just to show the so we change it to whatever the length of the road is so for now let me just put it here and say okay so now that we've indicated the origin and the end of the road the next thing we have to do is to show the alignment to do that we can use the add path so all you have to do is click on add path then we give this road a name so in the folder name i save it as tutorial road a1 so let's just say a1 so but you can come to style and color and change some properties there in this case i'm just going to use this color and change my width to two so then i will now start from the end of this start of the road and then indicate just by clicking to show the way the road actually goes for the purpose of this video, I can try to skip this end so that the video will not be too long.
So now I've shown the alignment of the road connecting the origin to the destination. So the next thing we want to do is how do we now know the length of this road? We can easily know the length of the road once we create a path from the origin to the destination. So all you have to do is come to measurement and under measurement you can see length. So this length, you can change this length to whatever length we want. But in this case, we can make use of kilometers because kilometers is the standard. So you can see that this road is about 5.54 kilometers. So definitely the name at the end of this road, the length is going to be 5 plus 540. So what we have to do now is just since we already know the road, we can say we can now come to the description here and add length of road so we know the length which is approximately let's just say approximately 5.54 kilometers that is the length of our road so you just say okay so what we now have to do is you have to come back to this end of the road and change the name come to this folder tutorial road a1 and under there you see a place mark right click on it and select properties then you can now change the name of the road to the length of the road 5 plus 540 so now we've established the start of our road we've established the end of the road and then we now know the length of the road so the next thing is for we have to do is to investigate this road and look for possible position in which we are going to place our hydraulic structures in case of culvert or bridge this can actually be done by the engineer going to the site and walking through the site looking at the condition of the site and then taking note of points so that you can know where you are supposed to place the culvert or bridges. Then another thing is, another way in which you can also do this is, when the surveyor supply you with the road data, they are going to give propositions for where you are supposed to place road. Because the surveyor are the one on the site and they know where and where there will be need for culvert. So culvert can be placed where we have stream across the road or river across the road in that kind of situation you can put in the culvert before we continue with this video if you like what i'm showing you you can subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification so that when i make interesting videos like this you get to watch them but if you are particularly interested in learning more about google earth pro how you can utilize it to improve your to improve yourself as a professional engineer you can take my course google earth pro application to engineering so this course is available on udemy and it's actually a new course i just launched it so you see what you are going to learn the course is fully packed so you are going to learn a lot of things starting from introduction to google head pro itself then you understand all the basic tools that you use on google head then you also understand how to create advanced informations how to create geographical data and extract these data from Google Earth. But one of the more interesting part of this course is you learn about the application of this course to highway engineering, application of Google Health Pro to water and irrigation engineering, as well as environmental engineering. The course is well organized. So you have about six hours video, about nine downloadable resources. So I'm sure you are going to learn a lot of things. You can see the outline, you have introduction, you have a lot of things, application to highway engineering. So to check this course out, check the description of this video. I will leave the link to the course in the description of this video. Coming back to our lesson, the next thing we have to do now is to indicate the position of our hydraulic structures. So, but by looking at the road, just looking at the alignment of the road from Google Earth, you can notice one or two things. One thing you can notice is like an earth crack around this street. You can see this zigzag along. So that means this location, there's possibility of, of gully due to erosion process affecting this part of the road. So if you zoom into the particular location, because of the location in which I'm citing this example form, you might not really see the core details of how it looks like, but when you get to the site, you will be able to look at you will be able to know exactly if there is actually a river here or it is just a gully environment 
but if you look at another way in which you can know your location as i've said earlier is the elevation profile so what you have to do is come to the path that we've created earlier you can see the length of the road is 5.54 kilometers right click on it and then come to show elevation profile so as i've said you know i mentioned that there is a possibility of a gully area in this location and as you can see this this level here is the lowest part of the road so let's say we wanted to place i don't know what the length of this place is you can measure it using the path so let's say you want to place a bus culvert in this location or you want to place a bridge so all you have to do is this is the elevation profile the elevation profile is showing the elevation of the of the path that we created from the origin this is the origin here you can see where my mouse is this is the origin so it's indicating it with a red arrow pointing down then you have about you have about three informations at each point the first information is the the first information which is 554 as you are seeing it on your screen 554 meters is the distance of this point from the origin this is the origin so if i move a little bit away you can see that the value of this origin changes as i'm moving along the profile the value of this origin changes so this is zero zero meters then it goes to it, it kept increasing up to here yeah. So here you can see that the length here is about uh, 714 meters from the origin. So then the second figure there, which is 362 meters, is actually the elevation of that point. As you can see, along the horizontal is the elevation, while the along, along the horizontal is the distance in, in kilometers, while the vertical axis of the elevation profile is the elevation you can reduce this palette so that you can have a much more larger view so then the last item there is what we call the the slope the slope of the road so you can see you have some at some point you can have a positive slope like in this case we have 0 0.1 but if you go down, you can see the slope here is negative. That's minus 6. So when you are going down a valley, the slope will be negative. And when you are going up, the slope will be positive. So now, for the purpose of this video, we want to locate this point so that we can place our bridge there. So all you have to do is you have to move around your elevation profile like this until you get to this point. So this point exactly is 5.84 kilometers from the start of the road. As you can see, the elevation is the lowest along this road, which is 331 meters. So now, how, the, how can we now place our how can we place our culvert here? Because this place is the lowest part of the road. So everything, if there is rainfall. This is the possible, this is the most probable place in which all the rains will be accumulated. So you need to put in a culvert or a bridge, depend on whatever the analysis requested for. So what you have to do is come to place mark. We just wanted to indicate that there is a culvert there. So you can move your culvert or your bridge to this point, showing it. Then you can say bridge. Or let's say if it is a culvert, let's just say bus culvert. Bus culvert. Then you can change the icon to an icon of a bridge. One important thing about Google Earth is if you don't, you can see we have a lot of icon here in which you can choose from. And you can select an icon with respect to whatever you wanted to uh, place in. So you can see that this icon actually represent a bus culvert but you can add a custom icon maybe you have created another icon you can add it to show a bus culvert for example this icon look like a, a house like if you want to place in a building to show that there's a building in that point you can use this icon so for you to import another icon into google earth pro all you have to do is come to add custom icon then you can come to browse so for the purpose of this video, I have 
two icons i have one which stands for bridge and i have a, i have another one which stands for culvert so let's place the bridge icon here so i just loaded it and you say okay so this is the icon just select the icon once you select it then you click okay so we've placed the icon in this location so this is the icon because this icon was imported we cannot really change the color if you come to color now and you select a different color the color will not really change because we imported it but you can change the scale that is how, how big this icon is you see i use a scale of two in your own case you can use a scale of three then you can also change the opacity of the icon using this percentage or you can just put in 60 percent so if you are good with these settings then you can come to the description and prove the proposed size of the culvert so let's say it's a bus culvert and i want it to be three cell so i just say three number or i, I just say three cell of three by three bus culvert so i just put this as a description then i say okay so now i've placed in my bus culvert then another thing you can also do is you can indicate the the position of the bus culvert so in this case the position is 2 plus 840 from the elevation profile this is the position of the bus culvert let me just say position then i can even come here and say size so under this description i've indicated the size and i've also indicated the position along the road from the origin so i can just say okay so this is our first culvert so let's say we wanted to place another culvert in this location you can see this is also a lower part of the along the road and if you look closely you can see that this place also look like a an affected area maybe affected by erosion or something so let's try to place in a culvert there so according to this this is about if you are looking at your elevation profile you see that the length of the the length of that particular point is highlighted so the length of this point is 574 kilometers so let's add another culvert here you just come to place mark and then we place it exactly where we wanted it which is there so you can move it to this point then let's change the image now to a actual culvert which is this then say okay but i wanted to remove this big color see this color so we have this then you say okay then order the description you can put the size so let's say in this case this culvert is uh i will just say pipe culvert this one is not a box in this case it's pipe culvert then now under the size let me put a size this actually depends on your design anyway this is just a description video so we have three numbers of three numbers of three number of pipe culverts with diameter of 900 so then the position according to this the position is at this particular position which is three three point seven five kilometers so that's three plus seven fifty from the start of the road so at the end of the day we have this so this is now so if you send this one to any engineer just at a glance they can understand and uh, interpret what you are trying to say so this is the start of the road this is the end of the road and from this you are indicating two bus culverts we have a bus culvert we have a pipe culvert and this that this dialog box is trying to describe the length of the road so to end this video let us look at how you can save this as an image in case you want to share it with someone actually there are a lot of ways in which you can save 
files on google earth if you check through the course that i have recommended for you at the middle of this video google earth pro application to engineering you can get the course on udemy if you are liking what i'm showing you kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification you can even share this video with your friends what we are going to do now is come to save image so under this save image we can put in a title so let's say road a1 that's the name of our road road a1 then you can put the description whatever the description is maybe in a particular local government let's just say a b c local government whatever the name of the project is so that is the title of the road you can click outside this box now so the next thing is the legend under this legend you see this is the name of the road a1 it is also showing the bus culvert the these features you can change the name of these features let's say you say start and end So that is what this icon is trying to indicate then we also have the pipe culvert so let's just hear this then you can come to map option you can do a lot of things you can change the styling in which this image is going to come out but let's just leave it as this normal one then this compass you can change the position of the compass maybe you want it to be here let's zoom in this a little bit and then pan the pictures like this so i think we, we are good so all you have to do is now save this image and then let's just save it as a1 root so this is how you can create a road on google earth and even indicate the position of your culvert at the end of the day you are going to have something like this Looking at this picture, you can see the start of your road, you can see the end of the road, you can see the pipe culvert and the bus culvert. Another thing you can even do is you can indicate header in the description. You can put maybe the size of the culvert, 3x3 three three or whatever. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you. See you in the next one.